Hello all, it's Abby uh, with Creative at Home and I am here today to do your Christmas cards finger painting times three tutorial. So we did this on Thanksgiving morning and it was a lot of fun uh, with the girls. Um, so in case you missed it, here is the tutorial. So we're going to make three cards, Santa and his sleigh, some Christmas lights all jumbled up as well as um, a tree and we're just going to use our fingers and a black marker. So I have a couple of things with supplies. I have a fine point Sharpie. This is probably my favorite uh, <laughs> art supply. Use this thing all the time. I have a paint marker um, because I have shiny note cards and that typically works better. Um, on those, it doesn't smear, but if you have flat uh, paper that's not coated, then you can use any kind of marker that you want. Um, I have blank little note cards. Um, just got these on Amazon for very inexpensive. They come in a pack of about 50. Uh, they have envelopes with them as well, so they're a really great thing to have on hand. Um, and these techniques can be utilized and done for any holiday or just for fun. So um, the first one we're going to start with here is the Christmas tree. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to make a cutout of a Christmas tree and we're going to glue it here. And then we're going to um, paint around it and when the paint's dry pull it off and we'll have a really cute little little uh, negative display of a Christmas tree. Um, so I have a piece of scrap paper here. It's cardstock and I like to use cardstock because I can use it over and over and over again if I'm going to be making multiple cards. So you don't have to cut the, the cut out. So you could do a Halloween pumpkin with this. You could do a Thanksgiving turkey. You could do an Easter egg. Um, you can do anything with this technique, so it's really a fun, easy way for kids to to do something um, and show their appreciation for relatives, friends. Um, we're going to be making a bunch of these little cards and taking them over to some nursing homes uh, to, to spread some holiday cheer for uh, those people who are kind of stuck where they are right now. So um, here's what we're going to do is I'm going to start by drawing the Christmas tree. And I want the Christmas tree to be smaller than the card I'm working on. So I'm just going to kind of use that as a guide. Uh, so I probably don't want it to be any taller than this part on the paper here. So just make that note and I can work through that. Um, so a really easy way to draw a simple Christmas tree, especially for kids. Um, if you are going to uh, do this on a piece of paper where this is where you want to draw the tree, then I would use pencil, but we don't need to worry about because you can, you'll have to erase some lines. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line and I want to make sure I leave room for my trunk. I'm going to make a line for the base of my tree. That's just about as wide as my card, just a little less wide. Um, and I'm going to make a triangle. So just set a dot there. Um, and connect my lines. And so that's going to be the base of my tree. And then for the trunk, we're just going to draw a rectangle. It's an easy way to get the trunk there. Um, okay. So then the next level of the tree, I'm going to also, it's the same technique. So it's going to be one triangle on top of each other but I'm going to make this triangle smaller and it's gonna overlap the other triangle just a little bit. So draw my two end lines and my center line is gonna be directly above that line. And we just connect. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, there we go. So if you were drawing this and you wanted it to be part of the drawing, you would then, if you had did it in pencil, it would just erase those lines. And then the last one, we're going to do the same technique. We're just going to come in even further for the dots 
and that'll be the top of the tree. So we just connect those. Okay, so there is our tree. And we're just gonna cut it out. So the easiest way to cut this out is I think to cut the trunk out first, especially for little hands, I like to do it in sections. So cut those trunks out. And then I like to just kind of go straight up the side and straight up this side to get it out of the big piece of paper, okay? And then you can just start cutting out the sections to make the tree shape. Just kind of a simple way to get that tree cut out. And do the same thing on the other side and we have our template. Okay. Nice, easy way to get a Christmas tree shape. If you will need to feel like you want to make it, cut that section in a little bit. And there you go. So you have your tree. Get our scraps out of the way. And yeah. so what we're going to do then is take our tree and use a little bit of tape to make a tape loop. So we're gonna take the non-sticky side and roll it in to itself and stick it together so that it's sticky all the way on the outside. I'm gonna put that on the back of your tree and just place it in the center of your card, okay? So now the, the biggest step, and I forgot to mention, I have some baby wipes here. So if you need to go get baby wipes, please pause it. Um, but I like to be able to wipe my fingers off, especially with the finger painting. So um, the first thing we're going to do here on the card is we're going to take green finger paint. And again, this is just acrylic paint that we have. And I'll bring this down just a little bit for you. Um, so I'm going to get my finger in there and then I'm going to just dab some of the excess off so that it's not too globby, but I'm just going to go around close to the tree, making sure that I get the outline covered, but not completely. We just kind of do that. And again, you don't want it to be doesn't have to be completely covered. You can just dab it in there. And I like white space. If you don't, then, you know, your fingerprints will be heavier than mine. Um, and you can go out a little bit further. You go out and just kind of dab them so that they kind of blend in with the red that we're gonna do the next thing. Okay, so we're going to, I'm gonna clear off my finger and just enough, get that paint off. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my red paint. And I'm just gonna go out to the edge of the card. So this one is a pretty easy one and quick. So if you, once you get that template cut out, you can make a lot of these very quickly. Get some more paint. And that's nice if you're wanting to do a service project or you have a Girl Scout troop or, or something like that. So just kind of these out here and again a good place to hold it is in the center then your hand 
hands. Don't smudge it up. Okay. So once you have it to where you like it, you're all set. That is our first card. So I don't remove this template um, until the paint's dry, just in case I smudge things. So we're just going to set this one aside for a moment. We'll come back to it when our paint is dry. So I'm just going to set it here. Okay, so that's number one. Card number one is finished. Clean off my finger the best I can. All right, so card number two is going to be our lights, Christmas lights. So you can do, there's a lot of free form shape here. I've seen people write their names um, or do anything. I like to do just a, a squiggle, like, you know, the bundle that you pull out when you're trying to set up your tree. So first step, I'm gonna grab my marker. Again, I'm using paint marker because I have a, a coated card. Um, but if you have uncoated paper, just a, a thicker, black marker will, will be perfect. Um, so I'm just gonna draw a squiggle across here with some curly cues. Going in lots of different directions to fill up the card. Like that, okay? And yours may look the same, it may look different. It's just what you want it to be. Um, and then I'm going to put little, actually I'm going to go to my finer point marker here, um, little triangles at the edge of each one as the place for each bulb that I'm going to put on. Okay, so we're just going to put them spaced kind of like they would be spaced on a Christmas light stand, or strand, excuse me. And they can go on both sides because you know they get twisted up. And they can be a big mess. Just kind of putting them evenly spaced and you wanna put them where you're gonna be able to get your fingerprint in as well, so. Make sure they makes that easy. Okay. Just keep going. All right, so now I have my strand ready and I am ready for my fingerprints. So I have four colors here. You can do as many colors as you want. You could just do green and red. You could do anything, really. This is all part of being creative. So I'm going to start with some blue um, and I'm going to get my fingerprint just where it meets the light, okay? So there is our first little light. And then you can follow a pattern or just kind of make it random, but just bringing the lights around so that You're good. And do one more blue. Okay, so we have our blue Christmas lights. Now we'll move on to 
Our next color, which I'm going to do yellow next. Get my paint. Okay, and we'll start with some yellow stripes. Just keep going. If you need to turn it around so you can get it in the right spot, go for it. Okay, so I might put one more here. Don't overthink it. Okay, so now I have my two colors. Move on to the next one. Green. Just fill in whatever's left with that last color. To make the strand complete. All right. So that one is completed as well. And you can write anything you want. You could write Merry Christmas. You could write um, Happy Holidays. You could write 2020, anything like that. Or you just write your message on the inside. So again, a great one for uh, kids. Just help them draw the line and they can add their own lights. So there's that one. Okay, so we can come back to this one because mine is dry enough um, to pull the tree off and see what we have. So I just pull the tree off and then my tape stuck. So I'm just going to remove my tape. Um, and again, you can just don't throw this little gem away. You can use them again. Um, but you can see here that we have the tree set and ready to go and ready to send. Again, you put your message inside, um, and go from there. So, okay, let's move on to the last little card. And this one is going to be Santa on his sleigh. And in the, the live class, we had a little girl request a moon. So that is how I was showing her how to put that in there. Um, but we're gonna draw it just straight without the background. Um, and uh, just Santa on his sleigh with um, a few reindeer. And we will uh, go from there. So let me find one more thing. So this one I am going to use just a, a really small paintbrush um, in addition to my marker, uh, my, my favorite, my Sharpie, and uh, my fingerprints. So those are the supplies. the supplies for this one and we'll go from there. Okay, so Santa in his sleigh. We're going to start here. Uh, with Santa. Um, so we're going to start by putting all of our fingerprints down so that they can dry and then we'll go back and add in our um, add in our details with our Sharpie. So okay so I'm going to start with Santa's sleigh. Get my finger with some red paint and oh I forgot I'm going to use a different finger. So this card is smaller. If your card is bigger um, my fingers are just too big, so I'm going to use my, my smallest finger here, my pinky, 
um, to fit on this little card. And so I want the, the sleigh to kind of be taking off. If you wanted to, to put the moon in the background or draw the rooftop on here too, but I like it just to be kind of plain here. So I'm going to draw my sleigh. So I have my red paint. I'm going to do one, two fingerprints for the base of the sleigh. And then I'm going to do one facing at a diagonal line here for the back. So there you can see the sleigh. And that's all for the red paint. But Santa needs a little face. So I have some flesh colored paint here. And uh, you can use whatever flesh color you want. <laughs> Um, but I'm just going to make one little flesh colored dot here to be Santa. Santa's little face. Okay. All right. So now, um, we're going to move on. We're going to let that dry. We'll clean. We'll turn it into Santa in a minute, but we're going to pick up brown paint. And the reindeer are about a finger space away from each other. So I'm going to do one for the body and one for the head, kind of facing down like that. Okay. So again, I'm going to do about a finger space and a little bit higher because they're taking off. So here's one for the body. And then one, oops, one for the head. I think I need some more paint. That's my issue. Oh my. Okay. So. All right. Now the last one. We might go over some of those based on. Just going to go a little bit higher again. go back over these other guys because they were temperamental. There we go. Okay, so here are all our fingerprints. Alright, so our red sleigh is finished. And, or dry, it's not finished, it's dry. So I'm gonna start by drawing some lines and the lines will just turn it into the sleigh. So my first two lines are just vertical lines down. And then to connect those lines, I'm gonna draw a horizontal line. And at the end of it, for the front of the sleigh, we'll just curve that up. So there is our sled blade um, that makes it look like a sleigh. And then we'll just do a line here for the reins. And then we'll start to draw Santa. So his little face is here. And we're going to have him have some eyes. And a little mouth. And his white beard and then the white part of his hat and his curvy hat there 
He has a big hat with a white fluffy poof ball on it. Okay, so we want to add some details and this is where I'm going to get the little teeny paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in the red because I want to give Santa a red nose. I'm just going to put a dot right there for his red little nose. And then I'm going to paint, not with my fingers, but just paint in his hat. So Santa in his sleigh is all finished. All right, so now the next step, we are gonna start on these reindeer. And they have reins that connect them. So we're the there's a straight line from the sleigh to the reindeer, straight line from this reindeer to that reindeer, and a straight line from this reindeer to that reindeer. So now they're connected like a sleigh. And to make each reindeer, they have four legs. So one, two, three, four. And then they have a little rectangle for a tail and a little rectangle for ears. You can add a little dot in the head for an eyeball. And then I like these big, tall antlers. Kind of fun, huh? There you go. So that's one reindeer. Legs. Ears, a tail, and antlers. Okay, last one. I forgot my eye on this guy. I give this guy an eye too. And the fun thing about the leader of the pack, we all know, is Rudolph. So we're going to take that little brush again and grab just a little bit of paint and give him a right red nose so that Santa knows where he's going right there okay so there is our final card um, again if you like the idea of him going through the the moon you draw that if you want to have him taking off from a, the house tops from the rooftops go for it too. The, make these your own. Make them creative. Uh, make it fun um, and do that. So again, thanks for watching. Um, Abby with Creative at Home and I hope you enjoyed. Send your uh, artwork, share it on my Facebook page, Creative at Home Art, or on Instagram at hashtag Creative at Home Art as well. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.